punching bag. We're talking about up and coming country music stars, Joey Alford, still in his 20s, but already making a name for himself on the country music circuit. Joey joins us now to tell us more about his new album and his upcoming tour. Welcome to the show. All right. Sir. Thank you for having loving me. Loving the hat, loving the boots. All right. This is your first album, and it's good to mention that you are from Columbus, a right. Columbus native. Tell us about the album. Well, the album's called 50 Years Too Late, and this just kind of sums up the way I feel about the kind of music I do, being born, you know, 50 years after people like Hank Williams and Johnny Cash and Ernest Tubb and Farron Young came along and made country music what it used to be. Now, we got a chance to check out your website earlier today, and I was listening to a couple of your tracks. Right. It's like old school country. Right. The, which is what's important for you, is the more traditional country Exactly. Music. You know, and, and I mean, our live show, you know, is kind of more edgy stuff, you know, that's not on this record, but... This record was just meant to, you know, encapsulate the 40s and 50s style of country music like the guys I just talked about. Now, so. is it okay if I tell your age? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay, only 25 years old, but at the age of 15, I read, is when you were more you were influenced by Hank Williams Sr. Right. And that's what kind of changed you, because prior to that, you were into the punk, you were into rock and roll. And Nirvana and Alice in Chains okay. and Pantera and all that kind of stuff. And now we, you're basically focused on country music. Pretty much. I mean, I still get a chance to play that stuff sometime, but... You know, not on, not on these shows. Okay, let's talk about your tour, one month of misery tour. Right. Why this name? Uh, because a friend of mine who's going to be opening the shows for us from Madison, Wisconsin, a band called Those Poor Bastards. It's uh, Hank Williams the Third said it was the best Gothic country he had heard to this day, and he chose the name. He just he's a miserable person. <laughs> okay. A, okay, I want to put up the dates because you're going to be in Columbus right. this week. Tell us about that. Uh, well, tomorrow we kick it off down in America's Georgia in um, Pat's Place the Club. I've been playing about three or four years, and then we're at a Soho Bar and Grill on Thursday, okay. no Wednesday. Right, Wednesday. Okay, October 4th. And, then, and we have a graphic up for you. October 5th, you'll be in um, Birmingham. And then on the 6th, you're headed to Nashville. And then on up into Ohio and New York. And Speaking of New York, you're going to be playing in Brooklyn of all places. That's How right. How did this happen? Uh, I just, just can't imagine. There's, there's, a little, <laughs> there's a little punk rock country dive in Brooklyn called Hank Saloon. Okay. And uh, they have a lot of the underground country artists come through there. And we just wound up with a date there. <laughs> okay. Are you looking forward to this? Because I know this is your first album. You've probably toured a little bit, but this is yeah. this is all about you. Yeah, we've done the southeast for about the past three years. Okay. But this is the first time that we'll be going up north. And, and why should people come? Why should they check you out? Just to support real country music. Okay. You know, and uh, keep the guys out there. If you believe in the old country stuff and Hank Williams and things like that, just come out and support the guys that do it and make a living doing it. Okay. And if people are interested, what do they need to do? Uh, you can check out the website, which is joeyalcorn.com or the MySpace. And um, that's about it. Okay. Either one. We're almost done, but we want you to play us out to our break. All Is that right. okay? We'll, what are you uh, going to play for us? We'll do a little bit of the uh, title cut here called uh, 50 Years Too Late. All right. Well, I never met Ernest Tubb. I never shook Roy Cubb's hand. Never got to hear Hank Williams play with a drifting cowboy band. I never got to hear Whit Pierce sing on WSM. And I don't like it, but I guess it's fate. I was born 50 years too late. I never got to hear Fair and Young I never met Miss Patsy Klein. I never got to hear Johnny Cash Sing I Walk the Line I never got to go to the Opry On a Saturday at the Ryman And I don't like it But I guess it's fate I was born Fifty years too late. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. We appreciate thank you. it. We'll be right back.